great to be back in the show and welcome to Đại Bảo Tháp Mạt Đà La in Tây Thiên, Vĩnh Phúc Province or in English we can call the Great Pyramid Mandela. I'm sure many of you can guess what the episode is going to be for today. You can see V in her Buddhist nun's outfit. So yes, today we are going to be talking about beliefs and religions. For some of you who don't know, I'm a Buddhist, so whenever I'm feeling down, I often turn to uh, Buddha because I hold a strong belief in Buddha. You know, V, it reminds me, when I looked at your Facebook a while ago, you have Khan V and then you have some Ting Viet name. What was that? That is my Buddhist name, Tam Ziu. Tam, like, di, di, di tam, like shower? <laughs> Dustin, Tam Ziu means like you're always um, kind and caring to other people. Okay, so Tam Ziu. Tam Ziu. Tam Ziu. Yeah. Okay, How about so religions sharper. in U.S.? So the United States is a very religious country. Mm -hmm. Most of the population is Christian. So you have a lot of Catholics as well. But there's a large portion of people today who are atheists. Atheists has no belief in any god or agnostic where they have no religion. So yeah, in the United States, uh, there's also a lot of like, culture, so subcultures and different minority groups. So there's lots and lots of religions. Hey, do you know anything special about this mandala? Um, it's big and gold. No, no, I don't. No, I know nothing. <laughs> I will fill you in. Okay. Um, well, actually, this mandala is the convergence of Buddha's mouth, mind, and body, okay. all of which are in good harmony with the universe and the people. So interesting. Vietnam currently has only one mandala here in Vinh Phuc, but we can also find another mandalas in other countries, such as like Nepal, uh, India, Bhutan. Bhutan, right? I say with <laughs> I say Bhutan. Tibet. Uh, Tibet. Tibet. Tibet, not yeah. Tibet. Tibet. Hey, Dustin, I really want to ask you, do you believe in karma? Because uh, <laughs> I'm not Buddhist, but yeah. karma, we talk a lot about that. Uh, I don't want to say no, yes, I think it's kind of complicated, but maybe yes-ish, kind of, a little bit, a little bit, yeah? We Buddhists believe that, you know, you reap what you sow. So you reap what you sow? Yeah. So to reap what you sow, we have another phrase that's very commonly used in the West. It comes around, goes around, or you reap what you sow. So this means maybe one action, maybe a good action will lead to a good consequence, or a bad action will lead to something bad. So what comes around, goes around. Yeah, and that is also our motivation to always uh, like try to be kind and good to others. Be the best you can be. Be the best version of myself. So what comes around goes around and also very similar is you reap what you sow. So this means maybe one action, if it's a good action, it leads to another good positive action. Or if something bad, it leads to something not good or not well. So for example, if you believe in karma, you have a situation where maybe I did something very good for someone and it came back to me in a good way. So you would say what comes around goes around. 